<laughs> Hello, beautiful people. My name is Nistaku, and welcome to another segment of Corpse Party. We are going to work on the Chapter 3 endings today, and we are missing a couple name tags, too. I know we're missing one. One of them is actually hidden behind, like, that body that we saw in the last episode with the last victim memoirs. That's one name tag. I don't know who the second one is, so we're definitely going to get through that. Um, I don't know where to begin. Uh, and we are missing how many endings? We're missing one, two, we're missing three endings. One of them is the victim memoirs. And I actually might do that one right now. That one might be the easiest one to do. Oh gosh, I have to remember how all this works though. Actually, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that bad, right? Right? I think, what am I missing? All I have to do is get the shoes, go to the music room, or... Yeah, go to the music room, get the shoes, and then walk over the sludge? That should be... that should be it. But, um, yeah, let me get to the point where Satoshi is in the... in the... the staff room, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, we are here, and we finally can read Victor Memoirs 5 out of 5. Looks like I'll be dying soon. So I'm going to try to keep my fingers steady. Just this one last time. The bleeding never stopped. And I'm getting colder and colder. I can barely see. In the end, we never did find one another here. And unless you magically pop out of the shadows real soon, we never will. But Tsuharu, I've always idolized you. You constantly surpassed me in every way. Always one step ahead, no matter what we were doing. I kept telling myself that at some point, I'd turn a corner and you'd be there. But I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected that notion from the beginning. Why'd it get dark? If I should dream in death, though, then I know I'm going to see you when I turn this next corner, like I've been praying for all this time. Oh, <laughs> We can beat up on each other like we used to. And I'll never have to be alone again. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. My head. A wave of nausea and unbearable despair suddenly washed over Satoshi's entire body. The next thing he knew, he was standing in the corner of an extremely narrow red room. Red room? His movements were, weren't his own. It was as if his mind were disconnected from his body, with no perception of surface or gravity or motion. After a sudden dip jarred his senses, he realized he was moving purely on nerve impulses, with no direction or control. Ooh! Perhaps he had been taken in by the curse? By the wave of negativity that permeated this space, far beyond the spectrum of human understanding. His shell of a body might as well have been a twig skipping across the ground in a windstorm. <gasps> oh! Satoshi! Without warning, his very sense of self had been completely destroyed, leaving him in a virtual virtually lobotomized state. Oh! Seems the remnants of a man's tormented soul are indeed a thing best left untouched. For this dying message, and the curse it carried, certainly had no trouble at all dismantling the essence of what was once a boy named Satoshi. So he's possessed? That- Are you kidding me? Okay, that one- That was the worst one yet. <laughs> that was it? Really? He just got- He just got possessed! Oh my gosh, like, no offense, like, I don't want these guys to go through too much. But, like, what was the first one? The first one was Seiko was crazy, so Naomi was freaking out. The second one was, uh, I forgot his name, was eating Ayumi. What? This one was so boring. <laughs> what? Red Victim's Memoirs. Soul was taken over by despair and rotted away. Oh, what an ending. Okay, sure. That was really disappointing. Um, okay, so now 
Let me see if I can find where I... I had an ending guide somewhere. Just give me a minute. Okay, so this next ending, I think we can do very quickly too. I hope it doesn't have to be with Satoshi. But it seems... It seems actually really simple. All we have to do is just walk in the slime. I don't know if that's gonna trigger anything other than zero HP, but um, what do we have to go? We have to go down? Do we have to go down? No, we have to go up. I, I don't I don't know what it will actually trigger. Maybe it'll be like, um, cause Naomi had one with the ghost, right? Naomi had one with the ghost in the infirmary and that did have a little talking sequence. I just wonder if it'll be the right one since we have Kizami with us. Oh, sorry, little girl. Oh, that's so creepy seeing her. Oh, it's so creepy. Okay, and then we just go up here with no shoes. Yuka, you ready? Get your toes all ready. Yummy, yummy. Warning, your HP is getting low. <laughs> to recover health, return to a lit candle as soon as possible. No, we're going through it. We're going through it. We're going... Is that it? That's probably it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dang it! Just her screaming, Big Brother? Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Will it say, like, what happened to them? Like, did they get eaten by the slime? Did they get dissolved? Were they dissolved? Were they dissolved? Were they... Succumbed to poison and collapsed? Oh, they're poisonous. Oh, okay. And the last one, actually, I have to restart, which is a little frustrating. Because we have to go all the way back. We have to go all the way back to where Yuka gave us the uh, the charm. The vanilla bead charm. Yeah, uh, Satoshi's not supposed to have that for this ending. So I will definitely be back, and I'm sorry for the seizures. <laughs> oh, that's right. We really didn't see anything about Naomi or Seiko. Like, we just saw a little bit of her at the beginning. I thought she would be a part of this chapter. She really, she really didn't. It's kind of disappointing, to be honest. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. There we go. I don't, I, I had to do a little bit more than I thought. But we did reject the little po, the little, little bottle of uh, vanilla beads, right? I think it was vanilla scented. So now we just say to hide behind a little man over here. Hey. You, hey. This is so weird. Satoshi. Oh, why? Why do you make these noises? Oh, he's so creepy, man. He's staring right into my eyes. What? I, I can't move. Come with me. Ah, he's gonna fall. <laughs> Big brother, don't! My body, my legs, they're moving on their own. Oh, was he gonna fall? Big brother, stop! Oh, stop it, you creepy little bugger! God, Jay, I don't like you. Spirit of the little boy stares at you with wide eyes and a mouth agape, and he has no tongue. <gasps> oh! oh, he fell. Oh, ouchies! There was only a few short seconds between the moment Satoshi fell and the moment he hit the ground, and there was really nothing he could do to prevent it. After all, he had no control when he inched his way toward certain doom, and he certainly had no control once gravity took over. Without even time to gasp in grim realization, he impacted upon the uneven floorboards below, and could feel his innards exploding outwards. Oh! Yet he remained conscious for somewhere between a couple seconds in a minute before his life officially came to an end. Oh, that might, that got to hurt. Staring up at the hole in the ceiling, just as his vision began to dim for the final time, he saw his little sister, Yuka, who had jumped in after him. Yuka! Yuka's a dummy. Yuka's a little... 
Yuka's dumb. Yuka, I'm telling you, she's the one that messed up the curse. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, she's the one that screwed all this up. She jumped in after us. What a gal. She's a ride or die, at least. Very, very loyal. Okay, so that was all the ending. So we have the chapter clear after being separated from Yuka. Satoshi runs into Naho Sanoki. Just who is she? We have wrong ending one. Cursed by spirit, fell from second floor and died. Uh, so, uh, ending two, I stuck out of school by spirit. That one's that one's probably the worst one. Wrong ending three, red victim's memoirs, soul was taken over by despair and rotted away. That was boring, and then this one was even more boring. Uh, succumbed to poison and collapsed. Huh, not, not, honestly, not as adventurous of endings that I wanted it to be comparing to like, I feel like chapter two had a bunch of good ones and then chapter one, there wasn't much with chapter one either, but I think chapter two had like the more flavorful ones. <laughs> I know that sounds awful to say since these are like kids in a gruesome scene. Um, but we are missing two name tags. I know what, what one of them is. I have to figure out what the second one is, and then I will read them off to you guys. Okay, so for this one, it's actually her name tag we're missing as well, but apparently you have to like inspect her body multiple times. Oh, there we go. Well, <laughs> I guess multiple times means two. Is that it? It is. Back slashed open with an edged weapon. Bled out. Oh, this was so... Kizami's doing. Kizami totally got her. <laughs> I can't believe him. He's psycho. He's psycho. Why did he want to start killing? Maybe he was just like one of those like creepy people who if had the opportunity would do those horrible things because I don't get it at all why he would do it. Maybe if he thinks he's putting them out of their misery or he's able to have fun because no one else is here to save them. I don't know, but he's so messed up. Um, so the last one is, hopefully I didn't, I, I chose a save that was with Satoshi and I didn't read the memoir, so I'm hoping that the last memoir is not there. Um, if not, obviously I'll restart the entire game, which I really don't want to do. But, um, yeah, I will go to Satoshi and then we will see. Okay, where's Satoshi? Alright, come on, come on. I want to see. Did we? <gasps> we didn't. Oh, good! The remains of a female student are sprawled out on the ground here. Her student ID name tag is still pinned onto her breast pocket. Kane Hagiwara. And she is our last one. There she is. Achilles tendon severed with scissors. And bled out. Whoa, that one's bad. Like, all of these are bad, but that one's pretty bad. Because your Achilles tendon is everything. Like, if you're trying to... Like, it is the only reason why we're walking. It is the only reason why we're standing. Achilles tendons are, are quite important. Ooh. Ooh, I am sorry. Ooh, I'm sorry. Okay. But that is all of the little details for Chapter 3. I am so excited to try the next chapter. I am so excited to get away from Yuka. <laughs> but um, yeah, chapter four is on the way, guys. We are two chapters away from being fully completed with the Corpse Party story. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. And th I hope you've been enjoying this long going series. I appreciate every time you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And just thank you. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you again. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye!